Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And so this video is a little bit different. So I actually was deck testing this deck and I ended up pulling off an infinite combo with this deck. But Arena doesn't really support it. And so I'm going to show the video of me. I, I was actually testing the deck and I just hit record because I knew that we got it off. I was like, okay, I just want to see how this would go. And it turns out that it breaks the game. And so I decided not to do a full video on this one, but I did want to show the clip of me actually completing the combo. I will go over real quick what I can do here on the deck because if you want to get this in paper, it does definitely work in paper. And it was surprisingly consistent because well, I got it on the first time that I tried I tried doing it and so anyway the the goal is is to get gauntlets of light which can untap this creature for three mana onto an incubation druid which can tap for three mana and if you have a ley line of abundance out you gain four mana every time that you tap for mana so incubation druid the only stipulation is that it, it has to be mana of a type of land that you can produce so you have to have some white mana out on the battlefield uh ley, ley line of abundance will already um tap for green so you have to get a counter onto incubation druid get gauntlet Let's of light onto incubation druid and have a ley line of abundance out on the battlefield and then you have infinite mana with incubation druid and so we got that combo to work and so how do you actually win the game well ley line of abundance also works with this as well where you can do uh you can just pay eight mana and put a counter on target creature so as long as you don't have a blocker incubation druid can also become infinite damage because you can put infinite amount of counters onto it so it already works within the combo if there are blockers you have to have multiple creatures because this ley line abundance does put it onto multiple creatures so that is the combo that you guys will see here in a little bit and it was crazy how it worked but it took so much mana to make it happen that i didn't fully get it off but you'll see that how it, it how it plays with uh with MTG Arena is really funny, so definitely check it out in the future. But the other things that we can do with this deck to use our infinite mana is things like Skark and Hellkite. So if we have an Incubation Druid out, we have, you know, green mana from Leyline, uh, Gauntlets of Light uh, for our white mana, we have white mana, and then we have red mana as well, we can also just go infinite with Skark and Hellkite. So we can tap, you know, for white mana a bunch of times until we have infinite. So on the battlefield, if you're playing in paper, you can just say, I have infinite mana. And it's a lot easier to do. On MTG Arena, you have to kind of show people, all right, I'm doing it. And hopefully they scoop. Uh, in this video that you guys will see in a little bit, uh, people, they didn't scoop. <laughs> so anyway, this is the other way that you can make this happen. Skargan and Hellkite uh, can do two damage divided as you choose among one or two targets. So this hits anybody targets can just be their face uh and you do have to have a counter onto skark and hellkite so you have to make sure you bring it in with the counter when it riots uh the other ways that we have to finish the game that, that's really the main way but there's also bane fire bane fire is just a quick and easy it's a, you can get to 20 mana really quickly where doing this is a little bit harder so bane fire i guess is the main way that you can just finish off the game uh and then there's also uh shalai also kind of does a similar thing Z zakama doesn't actually do damage to face but you can gain infinite life as you do this as well uh with its last ability there you know destroy every tar uh, every artifact enchantment on their side of the board uh you deal three damage to every creature wipe their entire board and you gain infinite life so it's pretty difficult for people to come back from that point they might still want to play the game though uh kiora also just kind of helps out so the, the other pieces of this deck um uh, are just other ways to make sure we're ramping up, getting value. If we can get an early Nissa, sometimes that can just finish games as well. Uh, getting two Zakama is really fun. A Zatalpa. Uh, Zatalpa is just a fun card because I wanted to have it with like Finale of Devastation. If you can get a massive, massive Finale of Devastation out of this as well, then you can go grab Zatalpa, which has Trample. Uh, if you have Finale of Devastation X a million, this is going to get in and destroy them. You know, like that's just how it works, and it's indestructible, so you can maybe dodge removal. Uh, so that, that's kind of the idea there for for that piece. Uh, if, if you didn't, if you just so you have ways to spend your your mana. Um, overall, though, this is a really fun deck. Uh, I I didn't fine tune it because I was just deck testing, but it worked really well from what I was seeing. You have to have Leyline of Abundance out in the battlefield, so really mulligan until you have at least one. Don't mulligan down below five, of course, but try to at least have one Leyline in the in the opening hand. Uh, you can definitely play this afterwards, but you guys will see here in the clip after this uh, how easy it is to just break the game on Arena. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Or check this out. There you go. Bye. <laughs> All right, so we got the combo to happen here. 
Gauntlets of Light onto Incubation Druid. Um, untap Temple Garden. Adapt Incubation Druid. Untap this creature. All right, so we have one one person to swing in with. Actually, so now we uh, uh, we tap for white. We untap this creature. We tap for white. I'm gonna I'm gonna go too slow, but we did get the combo with this deck. And this is the first game that we played with it. Untap for white. Untap this creature. Tap for white. Oh my goodness. Why is there still this like the adapt the adapt uh sound is broken unfortunately, which is so annoying. Untap this creature. Yep. Tap for white. Untap this creature. Tap for white. Adap untap this creature. Pay for ley line. We still have enough mana. We should. Yeah, so do that. So we do have an infinite combo here. Opponent may not know it, but we have good game here. Untap this creature. <laughs> so we have, uh, because the only has one blocker, we can do this until we have 15 power on both the Incubation Druid and the Temple Garden. If he goes, if he's going to make us do it, this is going to be a little bit annoying. But uh, we do have the infinite combo with Incubation Druid and uh, this. So the basic thing is you have to have Gauntlets of Light. You have to have Incubation Druid. You have to have at least one Ley Line out and have Incubation Druid adapted. Because then it creates so much mana that we can do everything. Leyline helps us uh, create the green mana for Leyline of Abundance. We also in this deck have Skargan Hellkite, which will do four damage every time you pay four mana. Uh, so this is the infinite combo, the very first try with this deck. I was I was actually just deck testing this to see if we can make it work, and we made it work the very first try. So I mean, that's, that's really cool. An opponent's gonna let us play it out. Uh, the nice thing is I don't seem to be timing out at all with this. And so we're just going to keep going until we have so much mana that it's ridiculous. And, uh, I mean, we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep doing this all day long, I suppose. <laughs> all right, so infinite combo. Someone clip this for me. <laughs> uh, exclamation point clip. Do it. I guess I can do it real quick. Hua. Oh my goodness! All right, so that is the the combo. We made it. We made it work the very first try. Um, and man, we just had like the most broken hand ever, which helps. All right, so leyline of abundance, leyline of abundance. Uh, not gonna do it again. Let's untap this creature. We are tapping for so much mana every time as well. The cool thing too is that uh, these guys also untap for insane amounts of mana. All right, untap this creature. Tap the creature. Untap this creature. All right, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Oh man, and we have that sneaking adapt noise that's stuck in here as well. Oh, this is a little bit annoying. All right, so untap the creature. Tap the creature. So the, this is the one reason I like paper magic better is I can say infinitely time, infinite times, grow these guys up into where they're at least 15, 15 damage each. Untap Incubation Druid, swing in, life is over. You know, like, like you're dead. That That's how it works. Uh, but opponent's going to play it out. Magic Johnson is who is playing here, actually. So I, I don't know <laughs> if this is the real Magic Johnson. 
Dude, this is sweetness. This is sweet stuff. All right, so adapt. Or sorry, uh, counters onto everything. Counters onto everything. Counters onto everything. Oh, don't tap for too much. Okay, we're good. Untap. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're going to get there. <laughs> Well, I mean, opponent's going to make us play it out. So this is actually kind of fun that we get to play it all out. But we do have lethal here. Warning, please take a different action. The game will draw. But I have an infinite combo. Oh, no. Arena can't handle it. They can't handle the truth. All right, so we did a different action. There we go. Different action. Untap this creature. Oh, come on. Don't draw on us now. We, we only have to do this so many more times. All right. Let's just untap. Use Leyland of Abundance. And we're going to swing in. We did have lethal, but because I don't want the game to draw, we swing in. They block here. We, did, we would have had lethal if we would have kept going. Uh, but... So the cool thing is we can actually swing in. So we made a different action, and guess what? We can actually untap this creature. <laughs> All right, we had enough mana to do it again. Here we go. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> we made a different action. Maybe it'll do it this time. I want opponent to either scoop or let this happen. Uh, so, <laughs> so untap. Because Temple Garden can tap for so much mana, because it also taps with the Leyland of Abundance uh, ability. So we get to do this a few more times until Temple Garden gets four more power. And we've already done it so many times. Oh, come on. Untap this creature. All right, we're going to go until we are about to uh, time out. All right, untap. Tap. Untap. Okay, we can do it one more time. One more time. I don't think we'll have enough for the actual lethal here, but uh, that's going to have to be good enough. Oh, man. All right, untap. Tap. <laughs> Oh, man, this is really frustrating. The opponent's not letting us actually finish this off. But, yeah, there we go. Go to damage. Down to two. We lose our stuff. Oh, man. So, Arena doesn't let you actually complete this combo. And the adapt sound is going to stay in the background for forever. Because that is something that's broken on Arena. It's so frustrating. Uh, we're actually going to submit a ticket for this afterwards to the to uh, Arena to say, Yo, guys, uh, you done broke it. Uh, report a bug. Okay, we're, we're going to send this out to them here in a little bit. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was hilarious. All right. Has a blocker. A couple blockers. So this is the Corpse Knight Cruel Celebrant deck, I believe. I didn't bring Lazatep Reaver into mine, but that's a brilliant move. I should have it into my deck. And now opponent scoops it up. Oh man, after all that, now you're going to scoop it up. I, it was still really cool that we got to do our stuff. And we do need to uh, send in a bug to uh, Wizards to let them know first off the adapt trigger doesn't work. And also, you don't let us go give us enough time for the infinite combo so let's go ahead and uh let me show you while we're doing this let's um <laughs> let's submit a, a ticket here uh but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna end the video here as far as for youtube and submit the ticket there you guys go <laughs>